think the market uh, in, in the past years really got um, increasingly um, used to the to really very strict forward guidance by the central bank. So there were, was not a lot of surprise what central banks would do. Uh, you could think about the kind of, we still think, imminent ri uh, rise of interest rates from the, from the US central bank, um, sort of the, the, the best you know, guided and, 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 uh, and, and announced um, uh, increase in interest rates uh, during the past, I don't know, uh, in, in history maybe. Um, so now as, as, as we see some, somehow some uncertainty there and this really makes markets nervous because they, they got so used to um, the, the, the way interest rates move and to know uh, exactly what central banks will do. So getting, you know, getting away from that and, and getting a little bit more used to some, some uncertainty there is maybe not, uh, not, not that bad in the long term. But in the short term, it's it's really it's it's I think causing much of this volatility that we that we saw recently because it's very difficult to assess what really um, what really influenced uh, these the, the moves or not moves now that we've seen uh, by the central bank. So um, if we if we incorporate I mean, if, if we incorporate the interest rates in, into our uh, equity valuation models, um, we see at, especially at these low. Uh, interest rates, um, um, rather high fluctuations of, of, our, of, of the prices that we get for the companies. So um, this is something where we have to really you know, think a little bit ahead and, and try to assess what are the, 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 really the long-term issues there and, and uh, focus away from the, this, this kind of uh, short-term volatility and, and really try to get away from this kind of uh, quarterly view and, and into a more long-term view and then I think the picture becomes uh, somewhat clearer. Let's focus on the long term perspective then, because most of the vast majority of the market at the moment discusses the next move of the Fed, whether it's going to be October or December, the first uh, hike. Let's look beyond that. Uh, what do you expect from the Fed and the ECB in the mid to long term horizon? Are they going to stay more active? Uh, have we entered the, the period of time where central banks will be uh, active players uh, influencing uh, the policies or fiscal policy to an extent, but influencing the economy more often than we were used to before the crisis? Well, I think for the midterm view, we see some divergence between the US uh, central bank and uh, pretty much the rest of the world, because uh, I think even the ECB is um, flagging a little bit that it could get a little bit more accommodative still. So um, they could, you know, certainly um, it would be in their ability to increase QE or somehow adjust QE to get a little bit more accommodative um, to the markets. And at the same time, I think it's, it's well flagged and at some point there will be the lift off by the Fed. So you see some divergence there, but I think that is, that is quite well understood in the market and that is also to, to, to some extent priced in, uh, I think. Um, in the long term, um, the role of the central banks, I think, it was it, it got increasingly um, powerful, uh, especially uh, influencing the market since the financial crisis. But that was necessary, as, as it was really the, 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 the quick moves, especially by the by the Fed, um, that got us out of this out of this crisis. But uh, in my opinion, uh, monetary policy can go only that far. So uh, there will be some point where we have to see um, some more fundamental um, uh, improvements in the economy and some kind of uh, um, f structural reforms that have to be taken on to, to keep the, the growth uh, going. So monetary policy, I think, can only do so much in the long term. Mm -hmm.